lonely horse Got my pistol I'm just trying to be Somebody besides A lonely horseman Got my gun at my side I'm just trying to be A lonely horseman So we were told that the sound is off. That was great. We sang a song. Fucking brilliant I, I song. I just sang a Christmas song. We don't know if we're back, Brian. Nice. I just sang Do you a need song. to add the... Uh, okay. I don't no, know what to on. do now. Was, what do we do uh, for on, an opening? It's on now. That was a great song. Yeah, uh, we did an opening. You know, nobody heard it. Um, no, you win some, it was you an win imp- some. impromptu Christmas song yeah. led by Derek. Fuck, you'll never know now. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, yep, you'll never know what that yep, was. Yep, it was good. It was good. It was a good one. It was good. Christmas classic. I'll make it up to everybody out there. I got something even better. <clears throat> oh. Shrek impersonation. Oh, okay. Denke. Welcome to the podcast, Denke. Hey! You'll be watching my stream tonight, Danke. We might be talking video games. <clears throat> donkey loves video sure, games. Sure, I'll do yeah, a do- I'll too. do a donkey impress- pre- uh, impressionation too. Why Ooh, not? Eddie Murphy, yeah. Shrek, you crazy. That's good. Man, Shrek, you gonna be you gonna be streaming shit tonight, Shrek? That fucking crazy. That's right, Danke. That's right. That's good. So anyway, that's kind of what that's kind of just that's the redemption bit. Um, you guys couldn't hear the opening song, so we kind of did that in its place and uh, let us know what you guys thought and give us feedback, you know, because that's something that we take seriously is sure. parents feedback. You know, people missed you, Derek. So it was really nice of you to come do a, a special kind of redemption bit like that. Did they? That's nice. I saw it in the chat. That's great. I hear uh, the people were saddened by your absence of, of late. Nah. So nah. it's good to have you back. I just let them miss me a little bit. Yeah, you, you have know, to do that every now and it's then. Like the, uh, it's like the White Snake song used to say, don't know what you got till it's gone. A true. You know, I just doing the White Snake. Just doing the White Snake bit. I'm That's back cool. now. So you can love me. Go right ahead. I will. I'm here. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna let people love me. I'm gonna love up on you. Um, whenever you want. YouTube Rewind came out for 2019, and this year they Ooh. didn't. They didn't bother. They didn't do one. Uh, yeah, I heard so they, they left just, it. They just cut up a montage of the things people liked the most on YouTube. Oh. And uh, so yeah, Derek was in it. Was I? You were in the montage. Just you. Was I really? Um. It was you and oh, is this for T-, T series? Who's that? I don't know what that is. I have no clue. No, you weren't in it. No, oh. none of us were in it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was no. just trying to. I was trying to bring you back on a positive <sighs> note. Got my hopes thought. up. Yeah, but YouTube Comedy Week, you guys. Got my hopes up. When that comes back, you guys should definitely. Yeah, when be YouTube in that. Comedy Week actually happens, that's that's I, gonna be good. Yeah, I'm willing to be funny uh, for YouTube Comedy Week if YouTube Comedy Week needs a guy to do Shrek impersonations. Yeah. I'm your man. Or if donkey. you need donkey, I can do donkey. Uh, I could do Kermit the Frog. I could do I could do SpongeBob. Hey, YouTube Comedy Week. That's good. I could do Squidward. Oh, that's better. Whatever you need, YouTube Comedy Week, you can hit me up. I can even do a impersonation of Sean. Does he wear the hood when he does that? I've seen that, but yeah. I don't think I don't know if I've seen the hood. But he, that. and I he's think thinking he does like a hat and glasses. So he's thinking, is it over? We're, so Sean, is it over yet? I want to paint a picture. Sure. Here. Uh, Sean is not here tonight uh, because he randomly got he has the flu yeah, out of right. nowhere. Yeah. He's got the flu. I don't buy it. So I want to paint a picture for everyone. Sean gets the flu. He's got a house with thirty-four kids in it. <laughs> yeah. 
Four and, of them are and, his own. And what happens is one by one, mm-hmm. he's going to get one of those kids sick, and then they get another kid sick, and then that gets another kid sick, right? Yeah, it's a so chain reaction. Anytime, anytime Sean says he's sick, it's not just, yeah. well, sleep a day and come back. No. There are like three months of yeah. misery ahead of him. Oh, yeah. Sean's house has now been turned into a level four hot zone with hazardous bio agents floating around. Yeah. Anybody visiting that house needs to have a negative pressure hazmat suit going yeah. in there. Double gloves, rubber boots, tape on all the air seams. Because right. it's, it's like a fucking Ebola outbreak at Sean's yeah. house. And you they want, keep passing it back and forth between each other. Yeah, you, you want know? to talk about Resident Evil 3 leaks. Whew. You want yeah. to see the early cut of the trailer? Go to his house. Yeah, check it out. You're definitely going to see a tyrant. Sean's living in the hot zone. Um, but anyway, yeah, so that's why he's not here. Hopefully he'll, everything will be all good and better by Christmas cast, which by the way, that's in one week. Oh my God. One week till Christmas cast a week from right now, we will be diving into our eating competition on the Christmas cast 2019. So tune in next weekend, Twitch. Do you think Sean will Twitch be healthy by stream. then? Do you I think hope. Sean will be back I hope by so. Then? Cause he's got to, he's got to get in it. He's, he's, yeah. uh, you know, he's a contender. He's never made it to the top two he's never competed for the championship yeah, he hasn't to the top two but he's made it pretty far he's right made it pretty where did, far, where did, how far did he get last year i can't remember uh, i can't remember either the, the board was a race oh, i don't damn. know how the brackets yeah played out but yeah i think you know the flu it could hurt him or it could help him you know maybe he evacuates over the week and he's so ravenous that he saves his hunger for the christmas game i'm trying to remember though how far how, where did he does anyone in the chat remember where he left off i think the bangus got him last year was it bangus yeah bangus the bangus round bangus took him down last year man the bangus was bad he got banged hey you know what though i thought the worst last year was i actually the one that haunted me the most, there was a lot of bad shit we ate a lot of bad shit the thing that haunted me the most was that pickled mango. Really? Or, that's what you got, right? A gasoline you pick, or mango? Or you picked that up. I got all the it, food last it was year. Like, yeah, it was like a gasoline-soaked flip-flop. Like, yeah. It was just that <laughs> texture. And it's funny because yeah, I, well, I think I technically ate worse stuff, yeah. but that has haunted me the most since eating it. This you know year, what I mean? the yeah. food is going to be completely different. It's okay. going to be stuff nobody's ever seen before. Oh, there's going to be a new slant on the challenge this year. Uh-huh. We're going to add some exciting game elements to Ooh, the Christmas cast this always year. Always evolving. Ooh. It ain't going to be your grandma's Christmas cast. Get Tell Ooh, your grandma okay. to get out of here. Yeah, get her out of here because <laughs> we're getting ready. Uh, yeah, I'm excited. I don't even – I know some of what he's talking about, but I don't know all of what he's talking about. So I'm, I'm, I have a little bit of worry, but – that's okay. I'm going head first. You're gonna, I want to know. I want him. The more planning Derek does, the better, so that I can just focus on the eating. I and think the, you know, get my head in the game. Ringmaster training. Derek. I yeah. think an eating competition is great, and we're gonna have an eating competition. What it's missing is an element of strategy and sabotage that, oh. that the players in this game this deadly game can inflict on one another okay ah. and that's all i'm gonna say okay but there's big plans big plans okay for next week adding okay. some one week elements. from now one week from now i cannot believe how this year is flying by my god are you gonna eat in preparation for next uh sunday night i will definitely eat a ton on saturday and get my stomach real big and then i won't eat anything sunday until the thing that's what i'm gonna do that's my you should eat a lot on friday and then skip saturday and sunday and then you'll be ravenous but still stretched out yeah like an old tired balloon yeah i don't know i don't know i'm i'm pretty good if i eat a ton on saturday i'm gonna be hungry as hell sunday morning so i i I think i i know my body i'll do respect to everyone here i know my body all right right. you may think you do know my body but i know it better than anybody i'm gonna do it i got this one i you're looking at the winner let's be honest you're looking at the winner uh, I have been told I, I don't know who all is competing just yet. We're still locking that down. I've been told Ryan is l- looking like he's going to be in town. The, oh, sore, the sore loser himself might be flying back in. So he's you know. in the chat tonight. Yeah, another contender. He might for, be able to confirm or deny his presence. Championship. Yeah. Wow. All right. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, but it's going to be an, he inter- is, uh, be an interesting competition. You know, Ryan's got to be there. He's the fan favorite. Everybody loves Ryan. He's like the Stone Cold. Yeah. He's like the Hulk Hogan. He's like the LeBron of Christmas cast. Mm, sure. You can't have 
you can't, Johnny, you have a look on your face like you're amazed. What? Johnny's got to compete against him. You know, Johnny's in the brackets this year. Johnny, are you competing? We're going to have to throw him in. I guess so. I yeah. Guess now I am. Nice. Yeah, um, I didn't even think about that. Yeah, we have to lock down this week, finally, who's going to be a contestant. Yeah. Well, I'm good for at least four Filipinos on my team, you know. I, okay. I'm bringing them by. Okay. Um. Yeah, and I, I got a couple of Canadians on deck. All right, tight. Uh, <laughs> so it's an international crew here. Yeah, a couple cool. of Canadians and one uh, one Laotian. So my team's stacked. Oh, damn, dude. Well, yeah. You bringing in Laotians? Yeah, Shit. importing straight. Right. Got them off eBay. Uh, Mariel was <laughs> bummed because I, I don't know if she'll be here or not. She might be, but... She was really bummed about that, but I was thinking, like, you know, she just uses it as an excuse to eat a lot of a food that she wants to eat. Like, the last couple of years, she brought... Bugs. Well, she brought bugs that one year, but that was when we were all grossing each other <laughs> that out. That was too... Yeah. Well, that was the year we were all grossing each other out, so it made sense. All right. But in the years since that, we've done, like, okay, this round, we're going to eat this. This round, we're going to eat that. We're not just picking our own foods anymore. We're not doing that anymore. But she'll still bring, like, she'll still come here and... Look, I got a hundred jalapeno poppers. Okay, we're not doing that, but all right. <laughs> it's just like, who wants poppers? Yeah. Okay, you know, I guess it's a good excuse to eat something maybe you didn't get to the rest of the year. But anyway, I think we're going to. Uh, we yeah, there's going to be there's a plan in action, and I understand some of it, but like I said, not all of it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna stay a little bit in the dark and just focus on the competition. Yeah, and my own, you know, trust in yourself. Yeah, I feel like you're gonna go far. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. I'd I'm like ready to see it. you, I'm Rocco, in the top uh, content. Like I, I'd like I'm to winning. see you up against me in the final bracket yeah. at some point. That's that's yet to happen where we go head to head. I'm winning, definitely. You think? Yeah. I was bested by Ryan in years past, so uh, I don't know. <clears throat> and you bested him, so yeah, maybe there's the tier right there. Getting a phone call. Sorry. Sorry, mom. <clears throat> Not tonight. Not tonight. <laughs> In the years past, I was given secret information about Doc Ryan. I had been told he does not like pickles. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so we made sure to get the nastiest, raunchiest, big old swinging pickles we could find. <laughs> and then Ryan snacked on him like it was his favorite holiday treat. He's too smart. He was probably setting us up with false information about him hating pickles. Yeah, so... I don't know. He dropped that like six months before, and we held on to it, but it was all a false flag. Dog Ryan, if you're in the chat and you want to put out what your most hated food is, we'll make sure not to get it. So let us know. <laughs> are we, uh, are we, where does the, the set stand on pickles? Are we all pro pickles or there yeah. anti, are there anti pickles here? Love no, pickles. I, love I hate pickles. pickles. You hate pickles? I, I thought you liked them for no. some reason. Dude, when no, I want I a little pickles. snack and I just go open the fridge and there's not like anything readily available to eat, yeah. I'll just have a pickle and that satisfies when, me. When I when I was eating like really really hardcore no carbs, no sugar oh, yeah. kind of thing, um if I whenever I was at Disneyland, that was my go-to snack. There were two places I would go. There was either uh they had a skewer place that had like pork belly on, oh. just on a stick, and I would get it with no sauce, and or uh, or a pickle that big. Those are my those big are my go tos. If I wanted a snack, big old know. swinging pickle. No, yeah. I hate pickles. I think. No I kidding. Think I, yeah, I didn't gross. realize that. I think pickle juice is no good. Pickle uh. juice. Well, I don't, I don't need the juice. I don't need to like because some people have the juice. The brine. The, yeah. yeah, I'm not. I, I don't. No, I don't need to do that. But you know, slice up some pickles, put it on something. I like it. Mm. But the pickle soaks in the juice, and that's good. I mean, I guess. It, it, I mean, I don't drink the juice. No one does that. Some people I do. Know, yeah, some people sick. do. Some, some psychopaths some out there drink the, the brine. Juice. Yeah, yeah. That's some sick. people do do that. Yep. But I'm down with like pickled peppers, pickled pickles, uh, green olives. You like green olives, Derek? Nope. Oh, see, anything uh, like that in a jar with a with a brine, I'm into. I don't. I could do. I'll eat like one, and I'm good. Um, I'm not the biggest olive guy, but like some, there are, there are a couple Italian foods that have it chopped up in there that I'm oh, yeah. into. Yeah. Don't eat too much olives. We found out what happened on the Christmas cast. Oh that one yeah. Day. God, do you remember that? You did damage to your body. There was one, uh, you know, maybe some people haven't seen all the old Christmas casts that we did, but there was one year where Garrett tried to eat a whole jar of olives, olives. in one go. And then what happened? You ate all the olives, but you drank the stuff in it too, right? I think I did drink some olive juice. And it was like a too. sodium shock or what was that? I just uh, It was like shock to your kidneys or within something. Within right? 45 minutes, I was spraying everything out of my rear. 
Oh god. Just a yeah. uh, like it was a like lot your, of air behind a spray. No, really, it was like your body goes into shock and it was Where like the, air the sodium because of the sodium it was yeah. like an overdose. Yeah. Everyone, Doc Ryan was at home that year calling me and telling me, I you better go throw up or you're going to have some problems. Yeah. But it came out it all it, you know, it worked its way through. Yeah. I hate a long fart with no shit. And it's all spray. Isn't that the worst? Uh, it's just, it's like a tease, you know? It's yeah. like blue balls for your ass. Yeah. It's like blue cheeks. Yeah. Long fart with no shit. It's all yeah. the noise. That ain't, that, none of the that ain't feeling. godly. That's the devil at work. Yeah. that's ha- That happens to me sometimes. You, you know, you get like food poisoning or whatever. You sit there and it's like, mm-hmm. oh, here we go. Finally. And it's just. <sighs> yeah. When you feel like you got a shit real bad and you sit down, it's a long fart with no shit. It's just like. Your body's tricking you. You've been betrayed by your own kind. Yeah. It's not fair. Yeah, it's like a bait and switch. Yeah, it sucks. Bait and shit. It sucks. Um, but sometimes... Big letdown. Sometimes the fart is so long, you actually impress yourself, and you start thinking, this sucks, but I might be going Guinness World Record on this one. What is the Guinness World Record for the longest fart with, Ooh, with has no that shit? Been, has that been... Yeah. Someone's got to have recorded what, what that. Is, right? What are we talking, like 16 seconds? See, like, I looked up once that uh, I was like, there, it, what's the world record for just biggest shit? Like someone took the biggest shit. Yeah. And it was a, there was a huge article about how like Guinness does not participate in, in, any, like, in any foul awards. What? Like anything that they consider foul, it's like not on the table. They don't even entertain. Longest rope and I'm of like, my sorry. Jism. Yeah, that's what I thought. I'm like... It, doesn't the public want to know this? Yeah, <laughs> I like, guess I'm crazy. I, I want to know what the longest fart in the world is. Sorry, I, I'll be a normal guy. Who pogo yeah. stick the most? Oh. Yeah, I want to know the big. That is something that pertains to me. Yeah, because I've done stuff. You know, we've we've gone to like you know legal seafood at Pax East, and yeah. then afterwards, I'm like, dude, that I that had to have been the biggest shit ever recorded, right? Yeah. Wouldn't you oh, like to know if that was true? I a would. Seafood like, shit. Guinness is like, well, we don't yeah. know, but uh, too good Guinness, uh, I guess. John Farley walked backwards for over a hundred miles. Who gives a fuck about walking Seriously. backwards? Who- I want stuff that appeals to the common right. man. Yeah. You know, hey, I'm a blue collar worker. I'm going to Red Lobster. I'm taking big shits. Yeah. Where does that rank? You I don't know? care. I want to know. There's an untapped market in the world record business. If Guinness ain't going to touch this stuff, we got to know. We need we, a new book. We need a new book. Yeah. I've been feeling that way for a while because Guinness does a lot of stuff just for marketing. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. we're, we're giving an award to Tomb Raider for being the hottest game ever. What, what the fuck does that even mean? That's, like, that's not even a, to be. You know what I mean? They do stuff like that. What is that? Most people want to fuck the video game Tomb Raider? What, yeah. What even war is that? You want to raid, raid some tombs? What are you talking More about? More guys so, jerked off to Laura Croft than any other sick. video That's game? what I'm saying. That's they, foul. They do a lot of marketing stuff. So we need a book that is neutral. The Bodhi An record. award show. Yeah, the Bodhi award or something. No, no, no. I don't want it to put my name on it. I'm just do like a... Bodhi book of world records. It rolls off the tongue. Mm, no, someone more. Who's like the most peaceful, neutral... I don't know. Tommy Tallarico. Master Roche. And he's in the no. Guinness book, so it almost, it almost yeah, makes sense a, for him. Yeah, he sworn his allegiance to that. Uh, peaceful, yeah. neutral. Everybody likes who's that? Who? Uh, Kate Middleton? Princess Kate? Princess Kate. Everybody likes Princess Kate. Yeah. She's the most neutral. What about like If a, we're having a book about book. biggest shits or longest farts, it should be the Princess Kate yeah. Book of World Records. Yeah. yeah. It's all filthy and it's, stuff. And it's everything the the people want, you know? And biggest the Guinness shit. is afraid of. Biggest shit. Biggest load, you know? Longest. Everybody likes Mr. Rogers. The Fred Rogers, Rogers yeah, Book of World be. Records. It's, that's what yeah. it is. You're, you're right. The Mr. Rogers Book of Records. That's what yeah. it'll be. Biggest and, shit. Longest fart. Hardest what's the skeet. biggest shit you've ever taken? Smelliest. All shits are wonderful if you really look at them. Smelliest. Closely. Butthole. Yep. <laughs> Are there any of these you think you would have won? Because I, I'm think a couple you mentioned. I think no. I won. I think I got them. Rocco, I think he might be in the running for all of these. Yeah. Most records. He's a competitor. Record for most. Roger records. Yeah. The Roger records. That's what that's what it'll, they'll be called. Fred Rogers records, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Stinkiest fart. Um, no, I, I don't know if I'd win that one. I bet there's somebody. Uh, deadest that one. SoundCloud rappers. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, grossest, a lot of them. Uh, most shriveled up genitalia. No, I lost that one. <laughs> that one might go to Rocco. Nope. Like might a go, mummy. Might go to Sean. We could start Definitely the records Sean. just well, amongst. Well, Sean, he gave that up. We could start the records just amongst ourselves. Yeah. Sure. And then 
other people can join in if they if want. they want to rank that if they want to check that for Sean they got to go search a trash can somewhere because that that was Fuck, snip yeah. snip no more <laughs> right didn't he yeah he did the they cut it off vasectomy or whatever I don't know what that I don't know what that they is. they did a vasectomy plus it's medical waste they have to throw it away he, he can't lost he it. can't he can't do kids and do records he can't do either of those double vasectomy it's called double jeopardy you can't go to jail for it yeah so he's um, not here yeah anyway he's not here. So that was basically our lead up to say Sean's not here this week. Yeah. Yeah. Um, anyway, uh, Derek, you had some, you had a little time, time away, time to yourself. Um, did you do anything cool? Did, did you see anything? Yeah, I, I, I made it sound like you're in solitary confinement. Um, <laughs> did you do anything cool? Time. Did you experience anything cool? Did you have any cool uh, thoughts? Did you have any cool uh, experiences? I want to know where we're, I want to know the backstory. This is like. There's a part in Final Fantasy 15 where a character leaves your party for like an hour and then comes oh, back yeah. like, "Hey, yo, I'm back." But you got to buy the DLC to know like what the, wh- like where were they for an hour? Well, you know what? We're not even going to charge you guys. Derek's going to tell you for free. How yeah. cool is that? Dude, did you How cool is that? Did you do No Nut November or what? I didn't do anything. Dude. Mm. Staycation. Oh. Okay. Damn. Sure, real, I thought there was real letdown on you, huh, Rocco? I read a book. Oh, all right. I read The Hot Zone. If anybody wants to read The Hot Zone, I read it. It was good. What is that? It's, uh, it's about Guy Fieri's crotch. It's a book. Thanks. It's a book called The Hot Zone. Uh, the Hot Zone. It's about diseases. Oh. It's a book about diseases. It's really good. It's still, Guy Fieri's crotch is relevant. But is it like, is it nonfiction? It is nonfiction. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. It's a book about a uh, 1989 outbreak of Ebola in Washington, D.C. Oh, shit. Yeah. Wow. And leads up to the discovery of new filoviruses like mm-hmm. Marburg and Ebola Zaire. Oh. Yeesh. It was a really good book. Uh, is this real? This happened? There was an outbreak yeah. in D.C.? I didn't, yeah, I didn't realize. Yeah. Wow. I didn't know. Uh, yeah, I did not know that. Uh, it's a. It was a good book. Chapter one was like a... Like a horror story about this guy who gets a mysterious disease in Africa, and then they put him on a plane to send him to a bigger hospital. And while he's on the plane, he's like barfing all over it. And, whew, it was Ooh. good. Ooh, damn. Um, what else? I watched The Irishman. Oh, you did. I dug it. And yeah, last I talked to you, you were like midway through it, but you were like, yeah. you were telling me you were like, I didn't know a lot of the Hoffa stuff. I but took now you yeah. It. I took two weeks off. I read three books and I watched The Irishman. Which that was probably two. two I mean, that was most of it right there. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that was mostly what I did. I, I mean, I had a good time. I was uh, cool. Just enjoying my free time. Did you guys talk about The Irishman? I'm sure you uh, did. We did more or less. I'm sure you did. I liked it. Yeah, I thought it was really good. I liked it. I I watched it a second time. I want to watch it a second time. Yeah, I liked it much, much more the second time. But you didn't like it the first time? No, I liked it. But when I saw it a second time, I was like, oh, I started to see like what I, I was like, I think I am seeing what this is really about. Like I, I feel like I absorbed more of the little details. So what's it really about? Uh, Just in terms of like the first time I saw it, I was like, yes, we got another gangster movie basically with you know scorsese directing and all these actors that i love it's probably not going to happen again you know what i mean i enjoyed it like a lot more a lot on a surface level and then when i saw it the second time i'm like wow they've really done such a great job dissecting why old people are the way they are now why they treat the younger generation the way that they do the why that you know what i mean like i I started like getting underneath it this time and i was like wow i don't know uh, I, didn't, I didn't pick any of that up. His attitude. But maybe I need to watch it a second time. Yeah, I think I think the main character's attitude that he picked up in the war served him through all those years, and then you, it leads him to a point where that attitude is not fucking helping you anymore, and now you're alone. And I don't know. There was just another side to it that I'm like, wow, I didn't see that the first time. So I'm going in soon, round three, round three. Wow. Nice. Oh Jesus. Um, getting that Netflix money's worth. I. Uh, I watched it at first just to pop it on with really low expectations, yeah. and uh, I felt like my low expectations were met, and so I was like, yeah, this I thought this was going to suck, and it, and it kind of does. 
But then as it went on, I found myself getting sucked into the story, really yeah. intrigued. And then I was surprised that the uh, filmmaking of the movie was so good. Mm -hmm. um, so much better than I was expecting. Um, there were scenes in that movie, the way they were shot and edited. It was like real, real, like good, interesting cinema. And then mm -hmm. that kind of from that point on, I was blown away. I was like, wow, this movie's really good. Uh, I thought the acting was great. Um, I found myself really enjoying it. I think that the uh, whole de-aging the actors was taking me out of it in the beginning of the movie, mm -hmm. but uh, it covers the life story of Robert De Niro's character. So as he, you know, as that age, uh, yeah, you know, as, as that the age, age gap, yeah, as closed. the age gap was reduced yeah. and he started playing a character closer to his real age, mm -hmm. you know my main complaint kind of vanished. So yeah. the first hour I was like, eh, this doesn't really work. But yeah. the second two hours, I got more into it and more into it. Okay. Um, See, I, I thought yeah, the, so I, really I thought it. that effect worked better on him than it did Joe Pesci. Cause I, there were some shots that I thought De Niro looked like, Oh wow. Okay. That was pretty good there. And every time Joe Pesci talked, it was like a death stranding. Shit. Well, it wasn't so much <laughs> his face. It was his body movement. It yeah. Was, oh yeah. It yeah. Was the yeah. Physicality right. of yeah. a 70 year old, almost 80 year old actor playing yeah. a 39 year old, Especially having when to he's beat beating guys yeah. up, <laughs> yeah. having to, yeah. you know, just the physicality. And I kept thinking like, yeah, you can de-age a face. You can't de-age <laughs> a bad back. Yeah. That's Pesci, true. Pesci didn't stay fit in his retirement. He didn't like, keep up you i know. don't know it's hard to say because his character was so old <laughs> yeah 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 he, he, looks, does, he doesn't move much i haven't movie. seen him in shit because he's been retired for yeah. so long until the promotion for this and yeah it, i'm blown away at like oh whoa you really aged in the last couple years since you've been off yeah. off a uh, camera well he's he's old as hell so but i thought too... you know the movie didn't it didn't rely too much on the special effects. It was more about the story. Yeah, sure. And the way they told the story was uh, really good. There were some scenes in there. You know, there's a real, there's a long take with uh, Ray Romano as a lawyer, which is a single take that goes on for a long time, which is an amazing scene. Um, you know, there's a scene where his wife kind of gets into her car and she's acting very strange. And you're like, what's going on? There are a lot of scenes where I'm watching it thinking like, this is weird. What's going on? Yeah. But then there'd be this big cinematic payoff and I'd be like, oh, <laughs> shit really a good movie yeah. um so uh quit uh, well first of all let me ask you do you think do you think they're gonna get nominated i i when i finished the movie i thought i could see al pacino getting nominated do you think they they all will or any of them or none of them i don't know i don't know i don't know who knows i you know i feel like they're gonna i feel like they're gonna pay respects to those guys who knows like, why the academy them. nominates the people <laughs> yeah. it does um know. have they won but, yet have pesci or pacino won I think well, Pacino, Pacino has won. Before. Pacino has for like. You know what I realized? Like that, right. This is a controversial statement. Mm -hmm. Let me know what you think, everybody. Mm -hmm. Don't hate me if you disagree. I've always wondered. Don't hate him. No negative comments. I'm here to be loved, so love me. <laughs> I've always wondered who's the better actor, Robert De Niro or Al Pacino. Yeah, I think we've talked about this. Before. We have. Yeah. And I think the Irishman, for me, settles the debate. Really. Yes. Here is my opinion. Maybe you agree. Maybe you disagree. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think Robert De Niro plays, mm, has more, what's the best way to say this? Robert De Niro may have better roles and may play more iconic roles, yeah. but he always plays, he has a, he has a very narrow range. Uh -huh. He plays Robert De Niro characters extremely well. Sure. Yeah. Kind of these strong, silent type yeah. tough masculine guys. Men. Sure. Yeah. yeah, masculine men. I think uh, Al Pacino has a greater range oh, yeah. of mm -hmm. what he can convincingly portray mm -hmm. from Michael Corleone, Corleone, whichever you want to call it, yeah. kind of. You know, the reserved, quiet guy mm. who, who finds himself to Scarface on the other end of the spectrum. Yeah. This bigger than over the top fucking mafioso yeah. crazy yeah, you're guy. Right. Uh, and I think that in this movie, I don't see Robert De Niro being able to portray Jimmy Hoffa the way Al Pacino portrayed yeah. Jimmy Hoffa. Yeah, totally. His range is wider. His characters are way across the spectrum. Yeah, so I think Robert You're De Niro right may, have, may have had better roles in his career, more memorable roles, Vito Corleone, uh, you know, Raging Bull, 
whatever yeah. his name is. Yeah, he's had more more iconic footprints. Yeah, than sure. Driver. But, but um, I think Al Pacino has a bigger range and can do yeah. more sure. with a character. I agree. Do- you guys ever see Dog Day Afternoon? No. I, no, I never. Wait, oh, wait, wait. I love that movie. John uh, Cassavetes. I, I, I might have a name. long time ago, a long time ago. Yeah. And it's got some themes that are like, whoa, this movie came out in the fucking like early 80s. Or yeah. Like, and it's about the 70s. Yeah. Uh, great, great. That might be my favorite Al Pacino film. Uh, Al Pacino was my favorite in in uh, a movie, a movie that I have always loved just because of the actors was Glengarry Glenn Ross, mm. because it's just like a dozen of the best fucking actors you can get in one movie. That's I've always loved that movie. And Pacino was always like my favorite in that, in that. like because he just Pacino always feels to me like a contained explosion. You know what I mean? Like, like he like like even as Michael Corleone, he can be really reserved, but you just know like. Something could combust if, if you know what I mean, if it went a certain sure. way. And I just, uh, yeah. Anyway, he was always my favorite in that movie. Have you guys, uh, but yeah, have you guys ever seen the show Lookalikes? No. no, it's like a British comedy show. It's kind of like The Office, kind of like Extras. It's about celebrity impersonators. Oh yeah, I think and, I've heard of and it. And an agency of celebrity <laughs> okay. impersonators. So the whole show is basically people who look like celebrities acting like these celebrities, yeah. <laughs> but they know they're not. So the guy who runs the agency looks like David Beckham. Okay. And that's his whole shtick. My favorite character on the show, they get, they have a Robert De Niro impersonator. <laughs> who's yeah. just this Italian guy who vaguely looks like Robert De Niro, but the whole shtick is he never drops the bit. Even when he's not working at a job, he's always like, <laughs> you're going to do this for me. You're going to do it. Ha! Huh? Ah, hey, what's your problem? Hey. <laughs> and he always does that, like palms out, going the. Hey. He's got the moves. Yeah, and it, it it really uh, showed me how fun it was to impersonate Robert De Niro. <laughs> so I can do Shrek, I can do De Niro. Pucker them lips. You know, whatever you need, YouTube Comedy Week. Come find <laughs> Hit me. Hit him up. Whatever you need. Uh, Quentin Tarantino talked about his. Uh, they asked him uh, this. This about I thought Irishman? was kind of funny. They a- well, they asked him in some interview, "What's your fa- what are your favorite movies that came out this year?" Oh, and he gave his top two or th- whatever. Top two. Top. Th- I think it was top little, three. Little list. I t- I think it was top three, but I can't remember what one of them was. So it, we'll say top two. Okay. Um, and his favorite movies were Irishman and Doctor Sleep. And I just thought because wow. I remember Derek was saying he's like I really enjoyed Doctor Sleep like. It did. It bombed, but you know the the couple people I know that went to see it were were pretty positive. Is it already about out? It. And I was just surprised oh, yeah, to hear him out, say that. It came out a month ago, so it's out of theaters already. Uh, I think it's still in theaters. Yeah. Did I? Did I, I tell anybody? I don't know if it is. I, I wanted saw, to go. Yeah. I saw yeah, Doctor Sleep uh, with the lowest expectations yeah. imaginable. I w- yeah, I could understand. I can't overstate how low my expectations <laughs> were for Doctor Sleep, and then I was pleasantly surprised in the yeah, theater. I found, su- found myself enjoying the movie. I was like, wow, this is, uh, one, not trying to be The Shining Part 2. It's not like, we need an over uh, caretaker for this hotel. Well, yeah. you don't want to go to that hotel. I heard something crazy happen Yeah, there. yeah, yeah. It didn't, yeah. That, yeah. It That's wasn't cool. that. Was it's its own. Good. I was worried about that. It's its own story. Um, but then, you know, the last act of the film does revisit the original movie. And then I feel like, you know, for two hours, this thing has been telling its own story. Then at the end, it's for Shining fans, a nice treat. Like, oh, they do kind of tie it into all, they the, earn all the stuff from the first movie. Earn, okay. it, earn it rather than lean on it. Yeah, after it's yeah, already, cool. they've already established, like, we're our own movie. We have our own story going on. It is a, a little treat. But hey, for the Shining fans out there, check this out. I like that. A cheaper way to do it would be to write up in the first 10 minutes, give you all the nostalgia shit. Mm-hmm. And then try to develop its own story. It kind of does yeah. the opposite in this. Yeah. I okay. mean, I think going into Dr. Sleep, I don't know what I was expecting, but I just felt like, what are they going to do? The, sh- the shine? They're going to just do Stanley Kubrick shining, but 2019, like are the little girls going to be there? Uh, yeah. You know, as the blood getting off the elevator. Um, Cause they show that stuff in the trailer for this movie. There's all yeah. those scenes of the original shining. Yeah. Those things do make appearances in the movie, but it's so far into yeah, it at that point. Okay. Yeah, I'm almost ready for it. Cause they've gone out of their way it's, to yeah. not have any of any of that stuff. It's funny because th- I think with that marketing, they were, I think they were probably in the mindset of dude, 
get as much shining stuff as possible in the marketing, you know, in the trailers and stuff, because that's what people like. That's what that's what's going to draw people in. Sure. And I feel like it actually had the 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 opposite effect. These people who that movie is beloved to, they saw that marketing and went, "Oh no, they're meddling with that. Oh, don't mess with that." You know what I mean? Yeah. I saw more of that than anything else. I didn't see like, yeah, oh, they're going back to the shining. Yeah, I saw a lot of worry. And so I think it worked against them because um, everything I've heard is it's a wonderful movie. So um, I don't know. Well, yeah, I mean, it's its own movie. It's not the yeah. greatest movie in the world, but it's, yeah. you know, it's pretty good for a Shining sequel. Yeah. Uh, do you know the plot of the movie at all? Uh, generally, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, because I remember reading about the book or whatever. Reading about the book? Uh, yeah, just what it was about. I never read the book. <laughs> You got the spark notes. I just it. read what about. I just read what books are about. Yeah. It's a lot. That's quicker. smart. It saves it saves time. It's a lot quicker. Uh, well, for anybody who doesn't know out there, if you're interested, it's about Danny, the little boy from The Shining, is growing up. Um, he's the main character, huh. but it turns out that he, you know he had The Shining, the care, the like uh, caretaker. Yeah, what was or his the name? Cook. Somebody. Uh, Torrance. Jack Torrance. No, 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 no. He had the shining. The he older explains guy. it to Danny in the movie. Oh, 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 Scatman Crothers. What's his name? Yeah. yeah Scatman. Cook. Cook, whatever. That guy had the Mr. shining. Cook. You know, so it turns out a lot of people in this world have the shining, which is like, I don't know, psychic ability. Yeah. What you know, it's yeah. the shining. Whatever the fuck the, the shining. shining is, people out there got it. And there's a group of adults. Uh, that use their shine. There's like different types of shinings out there. People have different mm -hmm. powers. These group of adults use their abilities to hunt down children with the shining so they can like murder them and like suck the soul out of them. <gasps> Is that that hot carny chick with the top hat? She's Rose like hat. A... Rose the hat. Yeah. Oh, buddy. she's got that top hat like Slash. Yeah. And she walks around barefoot the whole time. Oh, that's movie. so sexy, bro. <laughs> Nice. I'm seeing it. Ooh. Yeah, so uh, Danny, as an adult, uh, kind of discovers these group of child. Uh, killers and hunters and uh they're coming after a girl that that like seeks him out for help that's what the movie is basically about um you know so it's like weird stephen king's story Hell is yeah. interesting i liked it it was entertaining that's cool um yeah i was just surprised to hear people so many i heard a lot of people list that as one of their favorite movies this year um uh yeah but i didn't get a chance to see it um Hey, I want to take a moment. Sorry, just want to tip pause for a second and say thank you to our sponsors, shop.mega64.com. Wow, how nice of them to sponsor this podcast. It, it was great for them to reach across the aisle Thanks. and take a chance on us. Shop.mega64 has some of the best apparel, best media, best you name it, it's on the store. You don't need Amazon anymore. Shop.mega64.com is going to take care of you. Now, we're just ending Cyber Monday week. Yeah. yeah, Cyber Monday. You thought that was just a day? Hell no. no. Cyber Monday week is ending. It's just like birthday. There isn't a such thing as just a birthday anymore. Now it's birthday week or sure. birthday month. Well, Cyber Monday is a lot like that. You got uh, Tuesday. This week, we put out pre-orders for our... VHS slash USB combo collection. It's got both in the set called Mega 64 Origins. And it's going to have all the videos that we did way back in the day that led up to the creation of Mega 64, including the original cut of our first episode made for public access. Um, it's got all that on there. Um, anyway, pre orders have been live all week. They're ending tonight. If you're watching this on Sunday, tonight is your last chance. Go to shop.mega64.com. It's your last chance to pre-order that set. Uh, and uh, and and the Mega64 Snapback hat is oh. up for pre-order as well. The classic Snapback. We brought that up as a Cyber Monday thing, too. That's up now. But now is your last chance. So go get it at shop.mega64.com. We also like to do every, every week, every Sunday on our podcast, we like to do something called the 64-hour special, <coughs> where we put up a, a special shirt for only 64 hours, and then it's gone. Uh, this week we have, uh, this is one we did a little earlier this year. Uh, we did the club 64 shirt. Uh, we're not going to do a pre-order, uh, you know, like we normally do where we do a pre-order and then we close it. Sure. We had some leftover stock of the shirt. So we just put it up and it's first come first serve. The club 64 shirt is up right now. This, uh, people really liked this one. It was up earlier this year. Like I said, 
And uh, we had leftovers in every size. So we put them up. They're first come, first serve. And once they are gone, they're gone. And, and we're take it down. I want to say that is original. That is an original design. Yep. And I'm seeing a lot of knockoffs out there. Yep. Yeah. What's Hot up with that? Topic. Wrestling shows. That shirt is too yeah, sweet. Yeah. What's up with that? Stealing our design. Come on. You can get the original from us. Yeah. At shop.mega64.com. And also be sure to check out patreon.com slash mega64 because there's always exclusive stuff on there. Mm -hmm. uh, I just put up, so every, we're trying to put up us playing a game together every week, our show Friend Dimension. Um, our Super Monkey Ball episode is going to be up any moment now. But uh, I found footage, uh, I'm, I'm digging up stuff in the vault and trying to put those up every week or every other week whenever we have a chance. And I found in our vault, our video vault, I found footage of you two singing um 99 red balloons at pax 2007 <laughs> whoa a full performance it's over 10 years it's ago? up on patreon now oh, it's uh 12 almost 13 years ago by nina 99 luft balloons yeah wow yep i don't even uh, that's up I, on Derek, our patreon do you, now i don't, I don't, even, I don't even know the words of that song i don't remember doing that well you guys mm. sang it well it was sing star was on a stage Real, what yeah so that's up on patreon say, now they haven't seen it wow. but you can I gotta check that out. Oh, hope, hope I was good. We were, um, we were playing yeah. some rock band earlier, and I know you made a new uh, uh, video. Oh yeah, that uh, encompasses the the feeling of everyone who used to rock band. Oh yeah, so there's a video I just put on my personal channel called uh, "We Still Do Rock Band," which <laughs> I love. Which I just thought we had. Uh, I had an idea a long time ago. I was just like, it'd just be funny to have a video like. Almost like a promo for Rock Band in 2019 seems so like, why? Yeah. So I, I thought that was funny, but uh, we had some free time here uh, in the last couple of weeks. And it was like, well, let's just do, we did kind of, we just tried to do some shorts whenever we we had some time. And uh, so I, I brought that up. I'm like, that would only take an hour. You want to shoot it? Okay. Yeah. And I, And we did it, but it was like, I told everyone, I was like, this might be, this might just go on my personal channel. I don't really know. And uh, it's so funny though because the comments I was reading is like, why isn't this on the main account? Well, yeah. So I, I, didn't I, I liked beep. it. I yeah. liked it. I edited it. I, I was like, I like this concept. It's just I wanted to do something just like, uh, like you'd see on the kids in the hall, like yeah. forty, 40 Helens agree. Soup is good food. That's it. You know, just like <laughs> what was the fucking point of that? Sure. So I stood by that, but you know, I, I edited it and I was like, Sean, what do you think? And he was like, well, what's the story? Like, what does this follow? And I'm like, there, there's no story. It's just like a promo for rock band in 2019. That's it. It's just weird. Yeah. There should be a story. Oh, okay. I showed it to like a hundred people. We all and it was agreed. like, I yeah. kept sending it to people who are like, yeah, but what, what is it really? What, what, where does this really go? I, and I'm like, fuck, whatever. I stand by it. I'm going to put, I'll just put it on my personal channel. That's fine. And then all the comments on it are like, yeah. why wasn't this on the main channel? What the fuck? But but here's Dude. the thing. Here's the thing. If I put it on the main channel, the, yeah. you, the comments would have been. Eh, they should have been on a personal channel. This I, follows death you know stranding. What I mean? Yeah, yeah it, it just would have. It wouldn't have been. Uh, People would have bitched. It just. It would. It, yeah, it just didn't fit. So well, anyway, so it's it, on my. It's a great channel. video, regardless. I and I oh, had thanks. so much fun making that and playing rock band with you guys. That mm. the reason I wanted to bring it up is we got to do some future friend dimension episodes where we sit down and play rock band again. Yeah, we should, you know, it's set up. We did leave everything out. Yeah. yeah. That was authentic. Let's do that. Dust. Yeah, we'll do. That's a good idea. That would, yeah. that would be band. a good friend to mention. Do some rock band. I know. Yeah. Well, right now we have the PS4 hooked up, which couldn't do Beatles, but Beatles I think band. there's another, I think there's a PS3 with the songs. Oh, I could get Beatles you Beatles rock band was the greatest rock band. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. Prove me wrong. Yeah. No, I agree with you, Derek. I agree. Yeah. I agree. And I will say, I'll go, I'll go a step further and say, my favorite DLC ever released for a video game, period, was the Abbey Road medley. When they added that, where you could play the whole second half of Abbey Road all in one go. And what was so great about it was that every instrument got to do some shredding kind of thing. You know what I mean? Like at one yeah. point, at one point, the bass guitar became like the strings during uh You Never Give Me Your P like you're playing like oh, orchestra right. strings and stuff. Everyone had something fun to do, and it's like the one time there's like a drum solo in the Beatles too. So it's like everyone had a fun thing to do. That's my favorite DLC ever, ever released. What did you see? Guile's skin in uh, Street Fighter Five, though. 
Okay, second to that. Sorry. Right, yeah, he, sorry. He, he, that, he, he's dressed like a pumpkin man. Yeah, it's like Halloween skin. Um, But uh, anyway, yeah, that was incredible. Worth $3. I, I wish that would get ported to the new systems and we could get... And like the, new <laughs> DLC. What a licensing like that. nightmare that must be. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure. Just music they took, in general is they, only... Yeah, for a short amount of time. It's, yeah, it's finite, and they and they already took down. I think even if you have a PS3 and you're still doing it, I don't think you can buy those anymore. Fuck. The 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 DLC. The stuff. DLCs. Yeah, I think those lasted like three years or five years or something like that. What was the other one? Rubber Soul. No, they never did Rubber or? Soul. They did. Sergeant Pepper got the full album. Sure. Wait, did they do Rubber? Or maybe they did do Rubber like Soul. Like a couple songs. Yeah, off no, it or I something. think they. No, they, you're right. They did all of Rubber Soul. Oh, okay, okay. The thing that was surprised me, they never did, was all of White Album. That was the yeah. one that surprised too me. too long. But it was too long, I guess. But they did do Rubber Soul, you're right. And uh, Abbey Road got the full album. Uh, I forgot what else got the full album. As a whole, the rock band like was its own genre, really. I mean, kind of started with Guitar Hero, but then formed into, I think, like overall a better franchise rock band, incorporating all the other instruments. Mm -hmm. Although rock band you know, got ripped off and Guitar Hero started putting drums and started putting the other instruments in. Um, but it, what an interesting like time capsule that was like music, yeah. Game, which well, kind of came out of the Japanese Bamani like rhythm yeah. games, like Guitar Freaks and Keyboard Freaks. And well, stuff. I just remember how big that industry got, and I remember specifically going to see, going to the Harmonics or I guess it was Harmonics booth during E3, mm -hmm. and it was like the biggest booth in the entire hall, and it was like white sheets of silk hanging everywhere and it was like a almost like a labyrinth of that shit you had to go through like like it was the biggest booth most ornate booth you'd ever seen to get to the stage in the middle of it so you could play like you know what i mean and now yeah. now it would get like a corner and like shoved in the back <laughs> yeah it just breaks my it's heart. almost like rock band 4 was at the decline of that era and that's what you would see at pax's well, was rock band 4 shoved in a corner well three three was already like when that came out i remember seeing that at shows going ooh, it like it's this is looking bad. Like like that it, it that it felt like that industry was ending. Four was years later. And so people were thinking, like, oh, four might resuscitate it. Like people have been wanting this to come back. Didn't work. And it just didn't. I think it was a combination of that. Maybe people out there will know better than me, but I feel like it was a combination of one, the controller shit just didn't work. Like it was complicated to sync it to the system. Like Okay, I've gone through like 80 menus. What's going on? Oh, it disconnected. Oh, there were constant drops <laughs> yeah. and disconnects. It just didn't work. And then um, two, I think getting the DLC that people paid for With on three was too hard to get. It, it, I just felt like it was too many hoops to go through where people were like, oh, fuck. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it just didn't... Um, when I boot it up and play at home, I play Rock Band 3 on a PS3. Yeah. No, I, I that's where everything is. I meticulously went through song by song and downloaded all of them on my Damn. PS4. And it took me, like, a whole week. Like, just to... I would come in and just download songs and listen to fucking podcasts and just, uh, you know... And I got them all, but it just never... Again, like, I've streamed... So, sometimes I went on stream. Maybe some people on here saw it. I would go on Twitch and just stream playing, and the and then inevitably drums just eh, off in the middle of the song, and it's like, <laughs> okay. Um, in our just video, never had like a clear thing. Yeah, that happened multiple times throughout the video. Drums yeah, disconnect, and that was all genuine. Yeah, we all never genuine. planned it. It would just do. Bring. Oh, sign in. Okay, so yeah, that sucked. <laughs> um, uh, but anyway, I do miss Rock Band. I wish I, I... Yeah, me too. And you know, but but we have some here, but I wanted to get like a new set of drums and play them at home, whatever. You cannot get them. They are not for sale. Um, you can spend three or four hundred to get a set on eBay. That, that is like your option. That's it. Like, I, I would think people would be throwing out these drum sets. Or, you know what I mean? Just get Hoarding rid of them. them. But they are... They go for a ton. Uh, there's really like no cheap way to do it, so... I guess I'll use what we have shoved up in the attic. Somebody should just start a business, knock off rock band instruments. Right? No, I don't know how lucrative that is, but yeah, I wanted a new set because again, the PS4 ones that I have, they just they just shut off. It really disappointed me, and I feel like that was the end of Mad Cats, right? Because Mad Cats made those those rock band controllers. I think that I was like the last, that, yeah, last thing. Yeah, after that happened, it was just like, yeah. Are they totally out of business, Mad Cats? Think, or do they I make any, so. any third party? They were doing they, they were really doing good with fight stick stuff, yeah. but I thought the rock band side of it, like they were already maybe on the on the way out and then the rock band thing 
sped that up. Is what I thought. It sunk them. Yeah. Rock Band 4 killed Mad Cats. I got That's a, what I thought. I got a Mad Cats fight stick. I got a I supported them through all their peripherals. I got oh. old PS2 controllers that are Mad oh, Cats. Oh yeah. Yeah, all, all those things uh Sorry I Mad love Cats. That you guys were nice, but your all your stuff failed. Uh the, like I had me- Mad Cats memory cards that would just like oh corrupt. Yeah, you know, stuff. yeah. So I uh, that this was long and coming, but uh Jared Dormont is saying that he uh someone bought the name Mad oh. Cats. So someone is doing something. Someone like will that. make some new game genie for like PS5 that's Mad Cats branded or something. Yeah. All right. Did you guys like the keyboard when they added that? Yes. That's why I still play Guitar Hero or Rock Band 3, I'm oh, sorry. Yeah. Cuz it had the support for the keyboard Yeah. and then they kind of like abandoned it. I I don't know, I really liked that. Uh, my my default answer was no. Like I never had as much fun playing that one as I did other stuff. Like I just wanted to play drums or the guitar. Like I, I never had as much fun with the keyboard, but it, I it think back, you how to play. it really did teach me like where where things are. Like not that I like, well, now I know how to play piano. It, it didn't do that. But I think back, like someone someone showed me a video the other day of like when we did the Experience Music Project in sure. Seattle where we were doing Hey Ya. We were we, that video yeah. of us doing Hey Ya. Maybe Sean can find the video. To, Sean, play the video. Hey ya. But I, uh, I don't, I'm not good at playing, but I do know where the notes are. So I'm kind of mashing it in time with the music. And I was, it was kind of working for a minute. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, oh, I kind of was like learning something from doing that. I guess that was valuable, but that's all. That's the most I could say about the keyboard. I was okay with it not coming back, but that's just me. Um, anyway, hmm. that's all I have to say about Rock Band. Um, yeah. Speaking of videos, though. We were going to have a behind the scenes for you guys for our Death Stranding video, which is still doing very well. I'm still seeing that link to in a bunch of places. A lot of people talking about it. So thank you to everyone who has shared that video. We wanted to have a behind the scenes for you this week. It it, it, it ain't done. There's a lot of stuff being wrapped up around here. A lot of projects in the works. Yeah. Obviously, we're getting ready for Christmas cast too. So uh, it just didn't get done. But look for it this week. Probably, I'm going to guess... Probably Thursday. Wow. Probably th- if you're watching this, whenever on you, probably Thursday. Uh, what is that? December twelfth? I don't know, but probably Thursday it'll be up. But that's my guess. Keep an eye out, if not sooner. Cool. Um, it's going to be good. I was watching some of it earlier, and it was it was. We got a lot of good behind the scenes on this. Yeah. I think it opens with uh, it opens with a scene that was cut from the video right away, which was uh, me pissing and drinking Monster. <laughs> you can't can't oh. beat that. See, Derek, that's what you missed out on while you were gone. You bummed about that? Yeah. You, we got some monsters I, left I'm over. pissing, drinking a monster, and then I think I belch, too. Ugh. So, yeah. Yeah. Derek couldn't be there for that. Yeah, I have, I'd, I'll never see that in real life, so it's sad. You don't do that stuff in real life. So <laughs> it's well, sad. Not until Guinness shows up or, what, who, or Mr. Roger or whoever it is now. Rogers, the Rogers Records. When yeah, show up. yeah, I missed it. Shit. In real life, he never goes. Oh, oh, what? What was that? Who did? Wh- uh, oh, what? Rocco style. That, you're thinking, too, that's that? a Sean thing. Rocco's too classy for that. That's a Sean. Uh, thing. What? Huh? Rocco's. See, I didn't do that. What? I didn't do that. Hey, no, Ke- to be to all right. Real talk. When Rocco belches, it's usually uh, the belch continues into like a scream of agony with no gap in between. <laughs> so when Rocco what? belches, it's usually something like. Oh God! <laughs> I don't think I've done that. Yeah, Have I really he, done that. He, yeah. he belches into the phrase "Oh God!" all at once. <laughs> oh God! That does Fuck. not. That does not sound like. Me. <laughs> oh, That's who did good. that? I don't think that doesn't sound like me. <laughs> yeah, Kevin does that, and I, you might be confusing him. Which, by the way, Kevin's not here this week. Johnny's on the camera uh, because Kevin uh, couldn't. I don't know. Johnny on the spot. Yeah, Kevin. Kevin's got ass problems or something. Who knows? Derek was on vacation last week. Kevin's on vacation this week. Yeah, Sean's on vacation. Can't we all just show up to work like normal people? I'm gonna take vacation soon. Are you? I, I think that was on the Christmas. only vacation I've ever had. Yeah, Kevin takes one all the time. We were saying that it's like, man, so, that's your first vacation, really. I know. Ever? Fuck. I didn't know what vacation was. 
didn't, I had to find out. Did you like it? Were you able to enjoy it, or were you like, uh, I need to like get back to doing something? No, I loved it. Oh, well, there you go. I didn't want to come back, but I felt like I had to. So <laughs> here I am. Work is work, man. I felt like I had to out of obligation. So here. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, basically. Yeah. Who uh, wants to work? That's true, I was right? loving it. I was fucking not doing shit. It was great. Sleeping in. Fuck yeah. Playing vid games. I hate being back. Fuck this. <laughs> <laughs> let's yeah. go home. <laughs> yeah. Let's, let's end it. You guys are great, but Make Sean not happy. being here is even better. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. He speaks the truth. Um. Yeah, I, I really like having uh, time to myself, and then it, but then I hit a point where I'm just like... Lonely? N- no. Fuck no. Uh, absolutely opposite of that. I just want to, like, get into, like... I, I need to get into, like, creativity. Like, I want to, like, chug on something. You know what I mean? Like, I want to, like, get working on, like, something I can... I don't know. If okay. I don't, like, put things out creatively or whatever i go i go like oh what the fuck am i doing you know what i mean like you feel backed yeah. up yeah uh i like to stay busy stay creative yeah that, i think that's just what it is yeah i've got different outlets uh sure. you know been practicing my drawing as people may know if you follow me on instagram i post some of my sketches sometimes i wanted to make a zine for a while i was working on one for a little while i shelved it for a little bit but uh you know, I I get I get my creative fix in other ways. Now that I'm older, it's not all about YouTube videos. Mm-hmm. But, it's uh, not about views or <clears throat> no it's or not comments. About, no, it's definitely not about comments. That's good. You know, like uh, I put out music videos, and that really it didn't hurt my ego, but it humbled me because I realized it wasn't about views because I enjoy making music videos, but they don't get views. The bands are always happy. They're like, yeah, Holy yeah. shit. A thousand views. That's amazing. And I'm like, it's not amazing. That fucking sucks. That's, <laughs> that's garbage. <laughs> your perspective. Yeah. Garbage yeah. views. Yeah. But it, you know, it, it all depends on where you're coming from. Sure. So yeah, I've, uh, I just make those videos cause I love creating stuff. Yeah. Doesn't matter if people are watching them. I have fun. So yeah. That's what it's about for me. Yeah. Yeah. There's definitely like certain things that I get like a thrill out of that I'm like, I don't know if anybody else will be into this, but, uh, you know, it's like you got to do things that are personally yeah. like exciting to you and, and whatever, you know. And eventually, I feel like if you are, are into it enough, it's going to find it's that kind of stuff is going to eventually find people anyway. You know what I mean? Like, so. It finds the people it needs to. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, so I hear, I hear what, I hear what you're saying. Um, I was surprised how much I never really liked uh, drawing that much. Personally, I, I just, I mean, I'm not good at it either. But, um, but that was never really my thing. And I was surprised once I got the uh, Apple Pencil for the iPad, mm. where it was just like, you know what I mean? You could just draw on the screen and then. There's one button, like in, in notes, you just hit one button and it's on Twitter. Like once once that barrier fell and it was so easy to do that, I had so much fun like just drawing stupid stuff. You know what I mean? Just like goofy shit. Sure. That would like calm me down for a while. Like I draw just like a funny monster and then I hit one button and it's shared. And it's like, oh, look, people could see it. I found that really fun. Like there was like I got a real enjoyment out of that and I never thought I would. My My drawings are... You know what I mean? And they're bare. I mean, they're like chicken scratch. They're not good. You're actually a good artist, Derek. Like some of the stuff that I've seen you draw is really good. Thanks. I, uh, I mean, I just, just, I think with practice, anybody can be a good artist. Cause I don't think I have latent ability. And I think when I started, I really sucked. Uh, but I've, I've seen myself improve just by practicing and, mm-hmm. uh, you know, watching a lot of YouTube tutorials and just just practicing. I think anybody out there could become a good artist given enough time and dedication. I think it, but I I do think it it, it blows my mind. I don't think there's anything more mind blowing to me though in the world as artists who really get how to do it, like or that just have that ability to look at something and they can do a really great little like painting of it or whatever. Like that <clears throat> absolutely blows my mind. 
that you could look at something and like, I'm going to present that to you on paper and yeah. you'll know what it is. You know what I mean? It's one thing to do it in a general sense and it's like, oh, here's a goofy sketch. But when people can like really. But I think that just comes with thousands of hours of practice. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. And, and all of sure. the elements of what you're seeing, whatever yeah. it is, like you're looking at a lake with trees, you've drawn landscapes, you've drawn yeah. trees and it gets easier over time. I think an artist who can do that yeah. is drawing on muscle memory from drawing all the individual, oh, yeah. individual pieces so much. I'm sure. Yeah. So that's why I say I think anybody can become a good artist. It just takes practice. Yeah. Um, I mean, I had a, I had a little sketchbook, and I would just do pages and pages and pages of drawing noses because I yeah. really sucked at noses, uh, and and then I felt like I got decent at it, and I drew, yeah. just drew hundreds of noses. It was kind of a waste of time, but now I can draw a nose. Yeah. So I I think for I think what I feel like is you know anybody with I agree anybody with enough practice can can achieve those things but i do think there's certain things anything that you want to be good at you got to dump like eight thousand hours into sure. in terms of, you know what i mean like you just it has to be yeah like you said muscle memory it has to become that and i think there's certain things that some people are able to do that with and others they can't because i i'll tell you right now i would love to be a great artist i just can't I go crazy after a while of like trying to, you know what I mean? Like yeah. that doesn't come naturally to me. Whereas when we're editing, like with editing videos, I could sit there all week long and not leave the fucking room until I learn how to edit this way or that way or this way. Whereas I know other people that are like, if I had to look at Adobe Premiere longer than an hour, I would go insane. You know what I mean? And so I am envious of people who are able to like dial into that. I'm really envious of that. I think uh, the key is if your end goal, like if you're setting out to do something and your yeah. desire is I want to be good, yeah, that's going to frustrate you. Yeah. Cause, and that's kind of why I shelved the zine I was working on because I put all this pressure on myself that the drawings had to be good. Oh, yeah. And I felt like I wasn't ready or like up to snuff. Yeah. Whatever. I think that the more important thing to focus on is I enjoy doing this. And I have fun doing it. Yeah. And yeah. then it doesn't matter. That's how it was with me with yeah, video. It doesn't yeah. matter if it's good or not. It may suck, but there's a part of it that you enjoyed. Like with a video yeah. you make that sucks, there's still usually a part where you're like, this video sucks, but this part's funny, but yeah. this part's edited cool, but this shot is great. Yeah. And that enough uh, is enough to give you enjoyment. You feel like, yeah, eh, maybe the whole thing put together wasn't that great, but I learned something. And I'm really proud of this moment. Yeah. I think if you approach drawing or any hobby or talent the same yeah. way, your expectation isn't be to, to be the best there is. Yeah. You're just having fun, and there's little charm to the stuff uh, that you're making that makes you feel happy. Yeah. Then you'll stick with it, and you'll just naturally get better over time. Yeah. So, yeah. I, hey, that's the secret out there to anybody Practice who wants to get good perfect. at something. Don't worry about being good. Just have fun. Just do it a thousand hours. and Yeah. You know. Same yeah. thing with a video game that you suck at, but you keep playing yeah. it because you're having rock band. Let's you're bring having rock band fun again. playing yeah. the video game. So, and then you find like over time, oh, I'm actually like getting good at this. Yeah, Rock, rock Band was was a game that I played probably a fucking thousand hours. Yeah, and and it's so funny because when we plugged it in the other day, I went, we we you know we we were shooting. I forgot what song it was. Was it Harvey Danger? Or, I don't remember. I have not played that game in I don't know how many years. It's been years. Mm -hmm. But I put on expert drums. And I remember Sean was like, you sure? Or, or somebody was like, you just put on expert. Are you sure? It was muscle. Mu again, muscle memory. It was a doom, 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 doom. You know what I mean? It's like, because I played it that long. It's yeah. just, that is no longer a thought. It's just in. You know what I mean? My my muscles. And I just knew what to do. Um and it's just because I spent that long on it. And I remember hours of playing that game was like, this game sucks. Fuck this game. I, yes, I hit the note. What do you mean I didn't hit the note? You know what I mean? But then you power through that, and now I can just like, it's like autopilot. Game's broken. And, oh, it, uh, it's out of calibration. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I, I remember uh, Dave Grohl talking about that with drums. What? They were like, is it still hard for you to drum? And he's like, I don't even fucking think about it anymore. You know what I mean? That guy has yeah. drummed so much that it's just, you know, it's anyway, I saw that guy drum uh, this summer when, when we went and saw Bird and the Bee, he drummed for them. That's you know, crazy. That was really good. I just, I don't even know if I heard the rest of the band. I was sitting there the whole time, just like getting to see Dave watching Dave Grohl. Oh, that was so that guy slams the shit out of those drums. And uh, 
And it's funny because he talked on, I think he was on Howard Stern or something where he talked about his hearing is like going. Because oh. he never, ever, ever, all those shows he's done, he's never worn earplugs or anything. He's like, nah, I got to hear what's going on. I don't want, I don't want earplugs. I got to hear what's going on all around. And they were like, so how are your ears doing? He's like, yeah, this one's pretty much gone. And this one's hanging on there. It's like, oh my God. Anyway, that's a, what, this isn't Dave Grohl cast. Get okay? that man uh, some kind of uh, mechanical hearing aid device. <clears throat> no, they don't make those. Um. Anyway, can you do that? You could do that with AirPods now. I think you, there's a mode you can turn <laughs> that on. Where <laughs> you it, like, want to be stylish and have. Pods well, no, it like of... you, it like microphones the outside, like it filters outside audio into your ear, and mm. I think you can do that. So some of those AirPod people you see at the uh, that's what they're called now, AirPod people, AirPod people that you see at the airport. Don't laugh at them because they look goofy listening to. Lenny Kravitz or whatever they're listening to. Just what do people to listen hear. to nowadays? Is that you see big uh, Lenny Kravitz? Yeah, Lenny. Yeah. Just just cra- just having a crab sesh. Having a crab sesh. Well, they might not just be doing that. They might need it. So yeah. don't laugh at them. If you've ever laughed at someone wearing AirPods, shame on you. <laughs> Have so you I'm seen? Say it, listening to Takashi. Have you seen Did, how small Takashi Snitch Nine? Uh, what <laughs> they Shit. the the hearing aid technology has gotten like tiny. And apparently, oh, yeah. like I work with a few older construction workers, yeah, who you know from working in that industry around loud equipment, same thing. Like your hearing goes if you don't wear hearing protection. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, I know a couple them. guys that have uh, hearing guys. aids, but they're oh. fucking tiny. Yeah, they've they've enhanced. They've that really a lot. like come a long way from. Do where you it think was. there's anything you've ever done that like oh I got hearing damage from that? Does that yeah. ever happen to you? Going to concerts. Yeah, going to concerts. Going to a lot of concerts. Ringing in your ear or that night when you lay down. Because I, I remember reading, like, there's a certain amount of that you can take, and it isn't too bad. Like, if you go a lot, it is. But, you know, I wasn't going to too many concerts. This year, I did, and I felt like, uh, I went to a lot. I, yeah. Sean's but, dad. Yeah, he brings earplugs. Well, because he's talked about how going to that many concerts his entire life has, yeah. has done damage to his Now, ears. I bring ear, earplugs to just a bar, you know, a show at a bar I'll bring earplugs yeah that's smart because um, uh yeah my ears ring and i just feel like well i'm never hearing that frequency again <laughs> for the rest of my life i don't that's what i've heard yeah yeah i've heard if your ears are ringing after a concert that is you know that frequency is dying uh, see i saw that in children of men yeah. yeah remember they talk about that in that but is that again is that something like the dark knight rises like take care of your arms your body will do the rest like when you're cold is <laughs> where they just, just say that it's just something that was yeah. made up in a movie no, script I, no i don't think so um i do bring earplugs with me now because every now and then there's something like insane where i went to like i went to uh see a lot of japanese artists during uh anime expo this year and it was like whoa they are like peeking the fucking speakers out i wasn't expecting this and i was like i was there the whole time going hmm and uh somebody offered me earplugs but um but i was gonna say uh uh a lot of the times i won't but the one concert i went to where i actually left thinking i think that damaged me was cky (laughs) when we saw cky that last time Oh, I was right by that tower of speakers, oh, and, yeah. and they played so fucking loud that I was like, uh... I remember scooting Maybe back this at was that not show. good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we got away from that speaker after I was, a while. I was, like, dead for a few days after that on this <laughs> side, and I was like, I think I did damage, and I still think I did. Probably but did. Anyway, that that's the one I could think of where recently it was Dude, like, whoa. I've seen little kids at shows where their parents put the big old earmuffs on yeah. them. So, like, yeah, people are aware of it. Yeah, uh, certain decibels just start to damage. I remember cracking up at when we were uh, at the Aquabat show a couple years ago. Oh, oh no, it actually, it was uh, it was a handful of years. It was back when the Super Show was on. Like I think it had just premiered, so this yeah. was probably like seven years ago. Uh, and uh, the Aquabats were doing a show, and it was uh, Martian Girl, and they were playing it, and you know it was really loud. And, and then when there's a little breakdown in the middle, and the sometimes the Bat Commander just talks during that part, and he just goes. Hey, I'm noticing that guy with his baby. Is that a newborn baby? Wow, great. Right by the speaker tower. Okay. Like, it was like this uh, guy had a baby like that. Like, right by the speakers. Uh, and he was like, oh, that's great. We'll play this next part extra loud. Like, he kept making jokes about, like... To get the guy away. Are you really doing this? You well, know, he's like... A, he's he a dad, right? <laughs> 
Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So I mean, he probably think, couldn't not say something. He's yeah. like, Jesus, get away! I from think that he wanted speaker. to say more. Yeah, and didn't want to break <laughs> yeah. character. I don't know, but he just kept going. Wow, that kid right by the speakers. <laughs> They're gonna really love this next song. I'm sure they'll hear it. <laughs> His baby ears are extra strong. <laughs> like he just kept making jokes about to it. Try to get the guy but, away. Yeah, yeah. It was that was hilarious. Uh, but anyway, and we I remember we were all cracking up. We were like, "Wow, this is really happening." Um. Anyway, leave a ba- leave your baby at home. No, they're gonna love the Aquabats, especially when they're not one. Not even yet. one. Get that baby out of here. Leave the baby at home. Put it in a crib with a, l- a lullaby playing. If you have a baby. Don't leave the house. Yep. <laughs> That's no, it. Leave, Sorry. Leave the baby in a crib, a playpen with some lullabies and some fast food. Hire baby. You can leave a baby alone for six hours, Hire probably, safely. Yeah. What is it, 20 bucks for the night? How long yeah, before the diaper gets full? Three yeah, hours? I actually don't know. How long does it How long does it take for a baby to shit? God, Sean's not on here. But one shit wouldn't fill it. I mean, you got... Yeah. How many shifts per diaper are we getting away and with? And how many Two? hours per shit are we talking? I'm tired of all these people having babies thinking their life's going to go on. Fuck that. Don't feed yeah, the baby home. before you're, yeah. you're going to go out. You're fucking, and then your life is over. Yeah. Yeah. And then they won't shit. Then they won't shit. God, we're smart. Yeah. Isn't they, it crazy? The kid, smartest parents aren't parents. They take care of themselves. Yeah. Well, you guys wrap it up. You're smart. Yeah. You know what? I just don't do any of that. Keep the Jimmy hat on. Oh, you don't even need to wear one. No. Oh, I forgot. You're... I just don't deal with that. Ace. I just don't. I just don't deal with it. <laughs> John, um, Johnny's laughing behind the camera. Never deal with it. Um. Anyway, uh, <laughs> speaking of music, I just want to say real quick. Uh, say it, Johnny. Check this out. DJ Doug Pound. I was looking at those. They, they're DJ Doug Pound socks. Yeah. Did he have those at his game day? Booth? No. Hold on. Get the shot a little bit wider because just capture Rocco's like sexy legs too. You're shooting up it's his pant leg, sexy dude. Leg pose. Yeah, don't get. You're don't. about to see something else hanging. Yeah. yeah. Look at those Sausage. sexy calf muscles. Fuck, dude. You are buff, bro. Get this, the design on the here. Dude, there now you can see it. You You've been doing me, squats or what are you doing, Rocco? You're gonna make me come all Dead over lifts? the room oh, I'm sorry. with those legs. Deadlifting. Sorry. Those I didn't mean to. Sexy calves. Sorry. Fuck. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to. Uh, Basic Ooh, instinct, this shit. A little horny you know. here. Anyways, basic podcast. I Damn. guess. I, I work out. I can't get calf muscles like Rocco. Me neither, dude. I need implants, like that one Ooh, uh, yeah. MTV look, look Real at, Life episode. You don't even have anything on your socks. Look at that. Look wow. At that calf. That's full. That's full calf muscle for Derek right there. Little. Damn. Oh, now show Rocco's by comparison. Broom. Whoa. Look at that he ain't even flexing. Fucking god damn. The Hulk over here. I got bit. Actually, this leg, this leg is like, I don't know if you could see that. This leg is like scraped up because I took so many falls on this side for uh, Death Stranding. Death Stranding, yeah. So I'm all like scraped up. Got road rash. Whatever. How many yeah, squats can one. you do? You ever do squats? I do plenty of squats. Let's, we should have a squat competition. I want to see those legs in action. Well, yeah. I've been trying to break a certain record, Mr. Rogers, if you're watching. Get ready. I'm going to have the biggest. That's all I'm going to say. Let's do some pistol squats. Oh. oh, you jump. That's how you do it? <laughs> wow. Come on, anybody? No? I've, just right. been, I've been okay. doing Indian squats. What are Indian squats? I think it's more like this. Oh, you go ass to grass. Native American squats. Yeah, see? No. Oh, thank you. It's Indian from India. I was thinking the same thing. Not First Nation. I, bet, I was thinking the same I thing. I bet Rocco on a squat press, press machine send those weights into fucking space. Yep. Throw them. I'll just, let me just confirm that for you. I've never seen Rocco in a squat press machi- machine. Maybe We're going to do will. a video called We Take Rocco to the Gym. And let him max his legs? Yeah. Leg day with Rocco. Yeah, I want to see your max. I want to see how this dude trains. We go to plenty of gyms at uh, convention hotels. And we're always filming videos in there for the personal channel. We're fucking around, but we need to get you in a squat rack and really put, you know, pump Here's some iron. Here's the thing. All right, all jokes aside, Rocco is not a gym rat. He doesn't go to the gym Believe like it, crazy. Not, not what, yeah, d- con- contrary to what you've heard. <laughs> but the muscles on these fucking gams of his, <laughs> I think you get this guy in a gym. He'll surprise himself. 
I think this dude can squat press easy 300. Oh, yeah. Easy. Yeah. Easy. Off the bat. See, look at dual DJs. Now you can see him. I like. <laughs> Wait, is that Donkey Kong Country 2? Why? What? <laughs> This is like Coachella. Is this In what Coachella is like? <laughs> Get a wide shot. Get a wide shot again. Yeah. Go back. Go back to this. Yeah. In the mix. Curling the legs out with the toes in. Because I want, I want you to see the DJ. Because if I go like that, then they're out. But now they're in. This is no, oh, dude. Daft Punk. Oh yeah. Human, human. Your legs human, are like human. They look like human, Disneyland turkey human, legs. Human. <laughs> These probably guess. taste better. Mm. I'll tell you that right now. Less greasy. <laughs> I'm a gonna win. There, I finally did it. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Turn the fucking podcast what was off. That? What 